going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Amongst all of the Google Pixel Fold updates and deliveries coming this week, and iOS 17 Beta 2 being released last week, Apple still has iOS 16.6 .6 betas going on, and they just released iOS 16.6 .6 Beta 4, as you guys can see here. Um, for those of you that forgot, I don't blame you. 16.6 .6 is a very minor update with not very much added. They had some iCloud keychain verification stuff added, but nothing substantial here. If you're still running iOS 16.6 .6 betas because they are more stable than iOS 17, I wanted to make this short video for you guys today. Take a look at the build number, look at the st stability, and see how it is actually holding up. Um, for those of you that follow the channel, you know iOS 17 has been just as buggy as you would expect for a beta, specifically in the overheating department and battery drain department. 16.6 .6 is far more stable, obviously. It has a lot more releases behind it. And let's see how close we are to getting this as our final beta release for 16.6. .6. Let's go. So first things first, as we traditionally do, let's go ahead and check the heat signature and what you're gonna see right off the bat, right after install, it is maintaining a much lower heat reading than iOS 17 or even some of the prior iOS 16 builds. So that is definitely a good sign. Obviously it is still too early to tell how it is gonna run battery life, but if you guys have been running iOS 17 or have a device running that, you know just how rough that has been. Beyond that, jumping into settings, general, and about, you can see iOS version 16.6, .6, and this build is a D build at 20G 5058D. So it's getting closer to the beginning of the alphabet. This should not be the final beta for iOS 16.6. .6. Usually we're looking for something a little higher in the alphabet, but it's getting super close. I'm anticipating we might see one more build um, and then the final public release, but we're getting close. As you can see also, you can see they have updated the release notes for beta four, and there are still quite a few known issues, but the list is clearly shorter than what it was. One of the home known issues obviously does still have a workaround and it's still in regards to that matter accessory support failing and then one Xcode issue. So clearly not too much else, but we're almost there. Beyond that, like I said, not too much else has been an issue here, has been seen. As you can tell, everything is running pretty smooth. So yeah. Guys, like I said, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. There's not going to be any new features in here. Battery life seems to hopefully be good, and that heat signature is definitely down from what we were experiencing before. So thanks for watching this short, quick video. Comment down below if you're going to be downloading it or still on iOS 16.6, .6, or if you made that jump to iOS 17. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.